Hi everyone, today is our Arts and Crafts Day, and since you read the rainbow fish yesterday, today we'll be creating our very own rainbow fish. So go ahead and keep watching to know how we achieved this and how to make your very own. Okay, kinder class, so go ahead and start grabbing your materials. You'll need paper, you'll need your crayons. If you have markers, you can use markers, pencil, and an eraser if you have one, and a black marker crayons and your markers grab your colors of the rainbow if you don't remember your colors of the rainbow here we have red orange yellow green blue indigo and violet your colors to the side and all your markers grab your pencil we'll start by drawing our fish first so make an oval shape Bring it around, triangle, and connect it. After we have our fish done, we want to draw our ocean water and do little peaks like these. It kind of looks like shark fins, but it's our ocean water. Okay, now we have our ocean and our fish drawn. We'll want to do a little half circle or a moon right at the beginning of where the fish is at this will be our face do little zigzags to create our fish body as many zigzags as you can or as you want it doesn't have to be exactly like mine see there you go and now the triangle that we have here we'll go ahead and cut it in half and you will be having two triangles. Go ahead and do any design that you'd like. I'm going to do some swirlies up here. And some hearts down here. You can do smiley faces. We'll return back to our fish face and we'll go ahead and do the mouth so just a little smile and then we'll draw our eye so just a circle and another little half moon down here and another moon on top of that one in the top moon that's right the first one that's up here draw three small lines okay your black marker if you don't have a black marker you can use your black crayon but I'll be using a black marker open your marker or get your crayon and start tracing the lines that you just drew so I'll start here and now we'll be tracing our zigzags with the same marker or your black crayon and go ahead and trace the face of the fish in the front as well. And in your last little moon shape, go ahead and color that in. This will be your fish eye. It's your design, so I'll be tracing my swirlies with my black marker. Trace your ocean water. Okay, now if you have that marker, seal it and put it away. You won't be needing it anymore. Take your colors that you pulled out of your crayon box, your rainbow colors, and begin coloring in the fish body. So you don't have to do it exactly like mine. I'll start off and color the middle red blue color and I'll color this part in now I'll get my green color and I'll do it right in between red and blue Another color 
and keep coloring until you have the fish body all colored in. So I didn't get to use my yellow color on my fish body. Use it on my fish tail. So I'll color where my swirlies are at. That will be yellow. And because I have markers, I'll take my markers and I'll color in my hearts in here. Take my favorite color of the rainbow which is purple and I'll color the bottom of the fishtail purple and see we're almost done with our fish so now we still have our fish head take my blue color and I'll color in our fish eye very lightly take my yellow color and color all of the fish head yellow. We're done with our fish. We'll grab our blue color again and color our ocean water. Now that our ocean water is colored in, have whatever color you want. Um, I'll go ahead and do orange. And I'll just color above the water line. Then grab purple. And I'll start where I left off from orange. We're finished. We have our very own rainbow fish. Grab your black marker or your black crayon. I'll use my marker again and use the first letter of your first name and the first letter of your last name and put it right here in this little corner. And that is your artist signature. Okay, everyone. So now that you've added your artist signature down here and you've completed your rainbow fish, I would like to thank you all for watching and following along and join us tomorrow for our baking and cooking video.